Everybody hold on to your coffee. It's about to get racy in here. We're gonna warm things up on a Friday. If your kids are still home right now watching with you, it may be time to say, Johnny, whoever, go into the next room because we're about to talk about sex. All right, uh, or maybe not. Maybe we want them to hear what they have to say. All right, Elle Canada surveyed more than 2,000 readers. Uh, they asked them the really, really personal questions about what's actually going on in the bedroom right. or in the kitchen or in the living room or, you know, <laughs> wherever else. What's happening in your house? You're about Here to find to out. share all of the dirty details is Elle Canada Special Projects editor Carly Whitwell. Welcome to the mm -hmm. hot and spicy edition you of know, your morning. Very good morning. Yes. <laughs> so reading this survey, it's a big topic uh, that you focus on, which is the big O. If you don't know what that is, that's maybe a uh, part of the step. problem. That could be part of the problem. So we're going to find out now what you found in this survey. And that more than half, this is an astounding number, more than half of women are still faking it. I Why? Know. Oh, so many reasons. I think, well, that number actually skewed a bit higher in the 18 to 24-year-old category. And, you know, that could just be youth and inexperience. But what bothered me and the experts I spoke to was that a lot of women said they faked it because their spouses couldn't get them there and they felt bad for them. So they put the focus on their partner's feelings and their ego, his, his, or, her, his or her ego, rather than focusing on their own pleasure. So please focus on your own pleasure. Uh, yeah. And if there's not a problem communicated and you don't see it as a problem, then how can you go about fixing and it? And then it's just a vicious cycle and goes over and over. All right, well, I also want to talk about his attention span because part of achieving orgasm, as this article points out, is, you know, paying attention, being in the moment. However, we also know there's a lot of scientific study around the fact that because of social media, we pay less attention to everything in our lives. So my question to you then is, is social media killing the big O? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if you're giving your spouse bedroom eyes for 30 minutes before bed and he's on his Instagram feed, then maybe yes. But a lot of our readers said that social media can actually help them feel a bit sexier. And I'm obviously Snapchat is, a, is the first, you know, best tool. No, for not this. obviously. What do you mean by oh, that? Oh, well, so a lot of people are using Snapchat to send sort of sexy messages and photos. And, you know, provided you do this safely, this is a really good way to sort of increase that anticipation until you see that person. Oh, that's an interesting way to use the technology for you rather mm -hmm. than it working against you. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's say that using it consensually, both and, sides. Yes, and just practicing, <laughs> you know, if you're going to send something private, maybe don't show your face. and Or if you have a distinctive tattoo, don't show that. You know, keep it private. Zoomed in. <laughs> um, private about your privates. Let's talk about children, uh, Carly, because um, certainly as a relatively new parent, my daughter will be three. Mm -hmm. um, so parents are going, oh my gosh, when you have children, everything changes for so many reasons. So when you talk about children and how you incorporate, uh, well, not that you incorporate, so finding the time in an extremely busy household yes. when you have children and trying to find the sexy times, yeah. how do you find the time? We know that the brain is so much about achieving the big O, but if your brain is on, oh my gosh, what are they wearing for school? We need to make lunches, mm -hmm. we have to clean the house. How do you overcome that? Okay, so that's really hard. I don't know if there's a straight answer, but I'll try. So say you have five minutes at the end of the day and you look at each other and you're like, it's not gonna happen. So <laughs> <laughs> what you should do is maybe rethink about what brings you pleasure. So the experts I spoke to kind of said, you know what, try to connect with each other in a different way. So maybe go to the bedroom, do some kissing, do some cuddling. Just cuddling can release those sort of feel-good hormones. You know, do some teasing and, and really connect. And then maybe that will, again, build up some sort of anticipation for when Friday night comes and you throw the kids in front of, like, Frozen or Nemo and, and really can focus on each other. So just so you know, and I'm hoping my kids have left for school already, we used to call this Dora time in our house because we would put on a Dora. Who would call it Dora? You and Daryl and I referred to it as Dora time. Kids had no idea what Dora time meant. They had no meant. idea what Dora time they meant. They thought it was the movie. We would put on Dora, and then we'd disappear. Or the show, I should say. Oh, I love that little trick. Dora time. It's Dora time. All right. All right, let's say you've carved out, uh, you know, time in your mind. You found the right place. You've put in the right video. What are some of the other reasons why people still, you know, just aren't having sex? Yeah, well, we... We had five top ones for our readers. One, again, they just, at the end of the day, they didn't have enough energy. And, and sadly, some of them didn't feel good about themselves naked. And then there was also the idea that they maybe didn't feel as sexy towards their spouse as much. It's confidence. Yeah, it does have to do with confidence. And some were on medications that dampened their libido. And then my favorite one, why women didn't want to have sex, was um, because they'd rather binge watch their favorite show. <gasps> 
I know, do you want to know the shows? Which the shows they liked, or that some of them said they would rather binge watch were Gilmore Girls and Breaking Bad. So unbelievable. Yeah. Listen, I know we're we're right at the end of time, but we promoted this. You say there are two deal breakers for women. Yeah. Uh, quickly give us those. It was um, personal odor and like bad odor and not grooming. So be warned, everybody. Clean her up. <laughs> Carly, thank you for thank all you of so this. Much. Thank you so, so much. We're just getting the tip of the iceberg here, so we want to give you all the sexy survey results. Check out this February issue of Elle Canada.